Hi guys, today let's learn what all makes up an image in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, the look and appearance of an image will largely depend on the mode you've opened it in, the bit depth and the resolution of an image. So let's go ahead and see what do I mean with all these things. So an image in Photoshop can have any of these color modes. So you can open your image in any of these color modes. The most popular and by default you work with the RGB mode. RGB means red, green, blue, which has millions of colors as it has 256 variations of these colors, red, green, blue. For printing, when you're going ahead and you know you will print your image, so you go start your image mode with CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So this is best suited for printing your images. The lab color mode is very close to the human eye so these colors are very close to colors that we see as human as a human eye the grayscale mode has around 256 shades of gray so there will be some lighter shades of gray and some would be the darker shades of gray and the last one being the bitmap mode which has two colors only black and white now that we have understood color mode let's let's move on to bit depth so a bit depth in Photoshop specifies how much color information is available for each pixel in an image. So that obviously means higher the bit depth, the better quality and the better appearance is of the image. So for instance, if I say one bit, that means there will be just two possible values, black and white. And there can be images with 8 bit, 16 bit and 256 bits. Now let's move on to the, what is the resolution of an image. Resolution is the fineness of detail of information that is present in a pixel and is measured in pixels per inch. So as it's pretty obvious, more the number of pixels, the better is the resolution of your image. So a higher quality resolution will have a better printed image quality. Okay, in Photoshop, you can actually change the resolution according to your screen uh, resolution so basically photoshop gives us the facility to fit the resolution according to the screen size of our system so let's go ahead and see how do i choose all the three that i've just explained so let's get started now that we have learned how can we create an image and open an image in Adobe Photoshop 2017 CC. So now let's learn how can we learn about the different color modes in Photoshop. So Photoshop offers a variety of color modes. So let's go ahead and see. So we go on file and we go to new to create a new image. And in the right hand side, we see that there are the options for the color modes. So the color modes are listed here by default the color mode is RGB that is red green and blue so by this RGB color we mean that this photograph over here is depicted or any photograph which we open in RGB is depicted in 256 shades of red 256 shades of green and 256 shades of blue and together in combination they can give us beautiful pictures if you're looking for printing, I would suggest go for CMYK, which means C for cyan, M for magenta, Y for yellow, and K for black. So CMYK, if you're looking for printing these images, you click here, and this will get selected. The other three are the bitmap, the grayscale, and the lab color. So the bitmap is basically displays the image in just black and white. The grayscale will depict any image in 256 shades of gray, and the lab color is I will have the color which are very close to the human perception of color. So let me go ahead and select grayscale and I hit on create. So this is my document. I have this image here and I'm gonna do control A, control C and bring this image on my new document. And you can see this colorful image over here turns into an image with different shades of gray. And now that we have understood about the color modes, how to open an image, how to create. Let's learn about how can we change the bit depth and what does bit depth mean? So you can go and file, go a control N or you could just do a control N and we are here. So it's here where we talk about the bit depth. So this area here talks about the bit depth. 
basically if you're looking for nice quality pictures you want more bright pictures so you're looking for printings you can go for a higher bit depth because the bit that specify how much color information is available for each pixel in an image the more bits of information per pixel the more available colors and more accurate will be your color representation so basically one bit has two possible values so an image with a bit depth of 8 has around maximum of 256 possible values we can change it to 16 bit or 32 bit this is how in today's tutorials we learn about the bit depth now let's move on to how to change this resolution of an image now and what is a resolution so resolution is basically the fineness of detail in an image and is measured in pixels per inch the more pixels per inch the greater will be your resolution obviously an image with higher resolution produces a better printed image quality so let's go ahead and see where do you find this option so whenever you're creating a new image you can actually determine its resolution here and here you see you have this by default it can be pixels per inch which is by default or pixels per centimeter so this is your resolution so basically it does provide you a default resolution which obviously you can also change if you want to increase your resolution and I take this image from here and I do command C and I print here so this will have a higher resolution now if you have an image and at a later stage you feel that your resolution should actually fit your screen frequency of the output device so you can go to image so this is my menu wherein we have different menu panels so I can go to image and click on image size or alt control I which is the short key and so this gives me everything it's telling me the width and height is telling me the resolution I can go and the image size I can go here fit to auto resolution and see my resolution changes so actually according to my screen size and the image this is a resolution don't worry that the image is short we can ob always increase and zoom in which we're gonna cover later and say we can press that and say fit screen so these things we're gonna do later but it changes the resolution according to the screen so thank you and let's go ahead with our other tutorials